So welcome everybody. Welcome to the Hot Song Podcast. And um, the topic for tonight is the continuation of cleansing the, the soul. Today is June the 27th, 2024. So this is the fourth, this is the part four of cleansing the soul. And I actually just um, want to just do these four because these four, the focus is really on strengthening your soul energy and refining, strengthening your soul energy. Because soul energy is something that um, takes a bit of commitment and time to really um, power up your soul energy. And when you, and I'll talk a, a little bit more about, you know, what you can do when you have your soul energy powered up enough because um, usually I remember when I started it was um, uh, let's see it's it's maybe in the red like red in the red zone um, and then uh, now I, I mostly see purple and occasionally when you know everything is good I actually see yellow as well so that's so red so there's green Green is kind of normal everyday life. And then um, when you're above that, then there's the red. And then there's white, blue, purple, and then yellow. And then there is golden yellow. So the, and golden yellow is really the best color. When you get to golden yellow, you can do so much more. So we'll talk a little bit more about that. But before we begin, I actually just want to... Um, do a very short presence meditation just so that we can all let go of whatever was um, happening before during the day to just pull ourselves back into the now. So just take a deep breath in and let it all go. Relax your body as you let go. And then breathe in again. Breathe in through your nose. And then breathe out through your nose as well. So have a controlled breathe in and a controlled breathe out. And then do that one more time. Big breath in through the nose. And breathe out. Continue to follow the rhythm of your own breathing. Breathe in and out. And with the intention of elongating your breath. So take your time to breathe in and take your time to breathe out. And give yourself a few more of these deep breathing in and out, just so that you can smooth out your breathing. And after a few of these breaths, you would hopefully find yourself in a calmer state and your body is a bit more relaxed. And then let's shift the focus. Let's shift the focus into your heart. And start breathing into your heart. And as you breathe into your heart, set the intention that you want to bring back all of your attention all of your energies back into yourself. And as you breathe out, let go of anything that is distracting you from yourself in this moment. So take the next five breaths to bring back all of your own energy to yourself. Let this time be time spent for you, 
to nourish yourself, to consciously nourish yourself. Allow yourself to come back to you. Come back to this moment. So that you are absolutely present to what's going on inside of you. You truly will be observing your own energy, your own body, all and everything about yourself in this moment. And any other thoughts about yesterday or tomorrow, about other people, places, things, just let it all go. This moment is for you. Love yourself enough to take this moment for yourself. And when you feel that pressing, that love for yourself, then open your eyes and take a deep breath in. Let go and let's begin for today. <laughs> so we have the um, lotus at the back. Welcome back, everybody. Thank Just you, Vinny. You're welcome. Um, so to go into today's material, I just want to explain the reason why I have uh, the lotus at the back is because the what we're going to talk about today is really how to um, strengthen the, the zero point and, of course, the energies that's available for the real eye. And in order to do that, we can and and by doing that we actually are doing um something called a lotus breath as well why lotus breath because when we do this kind of breathing properly it actually opens up the crown chakra so the crown chakra is represented by a lotus so that's why i have the lotus at the background so so this is about, um, we've been doing different things. We've, we've done the um, you know, activating the real eye, you know, activating the, the zero point. We've done um, balancing using the, the, the different, the five elements to balance the, the zero point and the real eye. And we also, last week, we did the, you know, um, doing the, the um, connecting with the guardians. So eight directions and 10 guardians. We, do, we did that last week. All of those is really to, I would say, refine the, the, the quality and the quantity of energy as available to the soul. And tonight we are going to um, do yet another way to do that as well, to really increase the quality and quantity of, of the soul power, your own soul power. Because when we have increased our own soul power, we can actually start to send the orb, our own orb out to heal other people, heal places and things. And um, however, as long as our own op, um, power is not strong enough, then the, the most important job is really 
to to refine ourselves to heal ourselves first. So, which means that if you um, like when you close your eyes or even when you open your eyes, you see if you can see your own all, see the color of it, then um, notice what color is it. If it is green, then it is um, still not powerful enough. So I think I've shown this chart before, but I just want to show it again. Um, let me just find this one here. Yeah. <clears throat> so I think I've seen, you guys have seen this before. So green color, which means that like when you are at 200 to 300, um, it's this, this number is really a scale um, to, to show you the, the, the quality of your, the, of your own, of your own soul power. So when you are at or and lower than um, 300, <clears throat> you all would show up as being green in color, meaning that uh, green, of course, is really, <clears throat> excuse myself, green is that you, you're still not quite um, tuned into your own soul energy yet. So you have a lot of ideas, thought forms, beliefs that is adopted from other people. So when you are, um, when you see green, that means you still, you, you need to work on yourself to refine your own soul power. So when you get into red, then yeah, it's higher. So you, you kind of you know, I'm doing okay. When you get into white, it's even better, of course. Blue, when you start to get into the blue, purple and yellow, then you can, um, start to do some healing for other people and when especially if you're getting into the yellow and then golden yellow then you can do things that are even um, more spectacular you may even change the weather you, you can actually even um, do things like stop um, earthquakes or at, at the very least delay earthquakes or to stop tornadoes, or to steer tornadoes to areas that are less um, destructive. So, so those are the things that, when your soul power is strong enough, you can do do really helpful things for for yourself and for other human beings as well. So you can really affect the the, the and benefit the human collective when. Um, and yourself as well when you when you start that so so um, that's that's the reason why I'm you know sharing all of these methods to refine meaning to increase the quality of your your soul power and also to increase the strength and the the, the, the raw power of your, your soul power as well so that is um, why we I'm doing all of this. So let's talk about the the, the lotus breath. Um, I'm not sure whether that's the name for it, but you know, this is the name I'm going to call it. There may be other lotus breath um, out there, and they may refer to completely different things. But you know, I just want to kind of simplify it to to say um, I'm just going to call it lotus breath for this. So, and before I do that, I just want to, to mention that we have um, seven eyes, I think, or we, we may have more than seven eyes, but um, we tonight we're going to talk about the seven eyes. So, the, this is the real eye, and then we have the third eye, which um, you all know what the third eye is, and then Further up, there is the fourth eye. So that's that's the fourth eye. And then the fifth eye is starting from the, the, the hairline. In the fifth eye, there are several locations. So it's the, this is one of it. And then I think there are two others um, over the, the top of the head. Exact location, I don't remember. I just know that um, that's one of them. So however, 
these these eyes they have corresponding location in other parts of the body. So, for example, the fourth eye is connected to the the right hand. So this is my right hand, and this is the the the, the palm of the right hand, which is um, called PC eight. So that is a um, that is a meridian. It's called PC eight. So PC eight is actually related to the fourth eye. Okay, PC eight, fourth eye, and then on the right hand side on the left hand side though it is that's this that is the the fifth eye so the fifth eye is on the left hand side pc8 and it is related to you know several points along the, the from the the hairline towards the the other places in your head so when you start to breathe in to these areas, meaning that you like, like we breathe into the real eye, we in when we breathe in to the fourth eye and the fifth eye as well. So we can all start that now. So just you know, kind of rub a little bit um, of your the real eye to just kind of remind yourself where it is that you want to breathe in. And also just rub your palm together to activate the PC8 points on both hands. And then just breathe in. Breathe, use PC8, the, the right and the left hand. Just breathe in from fourth eye, fifth eye, and also the real eye. So just Try that. So when I do that, I feel that there is a pulse that kind of synchronize all those three eyes that I've been working on breathing in from. So in that pulse actually just means that you're activating those areas. And because you're breathing in from all these three eyes, so they kind of are synced up. So any questions so far about? Can I ask you, PC, that it's when my middle finger touching my palm, correct? It's yep. that spot. That, yeah, that spot, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, so that's, that's on the right-hand side and also on the left-hand side as well. So that, that spot. So right, uh, right hand, right hand it's, is the it's fourth, a four, eye. Four it's the fourth eye, and eye. left, it's a fifth. It's the fifth, yeah. Okay. Thank you. And when I find that when I um, continue to breathe in, I actually do feel like there is some um, pressure on, on the corresponding eyes on my head as well, so. Okay, so now that I actually just want to give you more about the fourth eye and the fifth eye. So just explain a little bit more. So the fourth eye is connected to earth. And when you really open up and activate the fourth eye actually gives you power to shift things that are related to earth. For example, you know, if you want to um, heal someone or heal an animal or um, get a, um, a plant to grow better, then, you know, this is because those, all of those are related to the, um, to earth. So then you use your right hand. 
when you use your right hand, it, you are using the, the, the fourth eye of, that's connected to the fourth eye. So you have that power to shift. And the more, um, more your soul energy is higher, the more you can shift. Meaning that, okay, you can, if you are really um, have activated your soul power connected with your fourth eye, then you actually can do a um, fair amount of, of healing as well. So that's healing, healing things that are connected to earth. So that's the, the power of the fourth eye. And then the fifth eye is connected to heaven or to the universe. So when you open up your connection and the soul power, then you can shift things that are related to the sky, the universe. Okay, so for example, I remember when we were driving back from um, on on Saturday, driving back from Cambridge, uh, King yeah, Cambridge Center after the, the the workshop, it started raining. It was raining pretty bad, and uh, and uh, the driver Grant was uh, was my driver, and he was saying, "Wow, you can you you guys can change it." Because it's related to to heaven, so why don't you make it, you know, stop raining? So I thought, okay, well, we just came from the workshop, so why not play? So I was just using um, power from my my left, um, from from the fifth eye, and just you know, send out that is to just connect with the the, um, the rain clouds with the weather, and say, okay, so just please delay the rain until we get home. So, and um, it, it actually stopped. Well, it didn't stop all, all, all at once, but it started getting to be, um, you know, more of a drizzle rather than a downpour. So, wow. was it because of, of um, us? I don't know, but um, that's what <laughs> <it was. laughs> and What did and he it, say? What did he say as a driver? <laughs> It was like you guys are powerful. <laughs> there, there are some um, me and um and Adina, not not this Adina, but another Adina that that um usually goes to um Sifu James workshop. So we were like, okay, <laughs> did we actually do it, or was it just a fluke? And because the the weather was was like that, anyways, without us doing anything, we'll never know. But that's what happened to us. So uh, maybe we changed it. Maybe it was a fluke. So, but regardless, I'm going to claim it anyways. <laughs> so, so that's the power of the, the left hand. But actually, I'm pretty good at um, doing things with the weather. And um, why? Well, <laughs> I just am. Um, um, I won't say I can, I cannot change the weather completely, but at least I can you know, delay a big big snow or a big um or that big downpour until I get home. So I can you know I can play with it. I wouldn't say I have have the weather in my command, but you know a lot of times when I send out that that intention, it usually comes true. So so we need. Some rain down here. Send us some rain. <laughs> Where are you? North Carolina. It is very dry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you haven't had rain in a month. It is extremely oh, wow. dry. We definitely just need to send you guys some rain from Toronto. Because <laughs> <laughs> we it's it's been a fairly wet uh, June for us. Yeah, and it was wet for us as well. Me Just too. yesterday it was rainy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, let me work yesterday on that. Was... Hi. Yesterday Hi, was... Hi, Rosanna. Hi. Uh, and it was pouring, yeah? Uh, it... 
four o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, I was uh, the bus driver, uh, the car guy, driver, he was asking me, uh, would I like to get off at the back entrance of uh, Bloor Street? And I said, no, it's too early and they won't let me in. So I said, just go as close to the building as you can. So there's the rehab hospital there. So in the parking lot, he dropped me there. But the lady next to me, she was sitting so quietly. And then all of a sudden she's saying, do you want an umbrella? I can give you mine. I said, no, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And by the time I got out, it was just fitting a little bit. So I could walk easily. And when we came out, it was all dry. Okay, <laughs> so, cool. Yeah. It worked out. So it works out. Even yeah. silent intention, I think. I didn't mm -hmm. consciously intend it, but it worked out. <laughs> nice. See, those are things that you definitely start to play with. Definitely start to play with. Um, you know, we, so um, the hands can change things. So right hand can change things that are related to earth and left hand can change things related to the universe or, or the, the sky. So those things. So remember that and um, play, start to play with it. So does that mean they're yin and yang? Like the right hand is more is yin and the left hand point is yang because it connects to, you don't know, okay. I don't know. I don't know. I know this is connected Earth. to Earth. Is Earth yin or yang? Earth is yin, yes. And sky is yang, yeah. According to some people. Chinese, yes. According to some people, but who knows? <laughs> who knows? <laughs> okay. So that's the, the, the fourth, and then that's the, the fifth eye. So there are um, two more eyes that I want to talk about. The sixth eye. So the sixth eye is the, the, the right soul. You know, the arch when, when, you, you're, when you're walking, there is the part of your, the soles of your feet that is kind of an, an arch. You know what I'm talking about? arch of the feet so that is the um sixth the eye. inner side right yeah that the inner side so that's the sixth eye and then the um seventh is the left is on the left what if person like me have flat feet doesn't matter. It's um it's still there. Okay. It's still there. Yeah. Okay, so when you touch when you touch that area, so when you touch that area, you will find that there is um yeah. That's, that's that's kind of usually when you touch it, then it's it's kind of waking up that spot. So that's the sixth eye and the seventh eye, and correspondingly, the sixth eye is a the, the feet is about stopping. Okay, so six the sixth eye is to stop things that are related to earth, and the seventh eye is to stop things that are related to the sky or the universe okay so let's say if you want to stop something if you want to stop you know some somebody coming towards you then you know, stamp your right foot if you want to stop let's say um stop a tornado that's coming towards your house then stomp your left foot of course, the um, whether you're actually going to do that, that really depends on your, your soul power. So the more powerful you are, 
the more you can influence with these. So questions so far? So if you want to stop some like aggression from some person, you can stamp your right foot. Yeah, right foot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now, so there's hands left and right, and then the the soles of your feet, the right and the left as well, and then the real eye. So there are five points to breathe in. So, but breathe into where? Breathe into the sacrum. Because the sacrum is kind of the um, related or um, it's another duplicate zero point within your body. So just let's, let's do that. Let's just um, take a few breaths to, so because you're breathing from five different points, so it's, uh, I, I would do that, you know, gradually. First is to just start breathing in through the real eye. And then at, so from the real eye, just imagine that energy going right into the sacrum. And when you breathe out, you breathe out through the top of your head. So let's, let's just do that, just with the real eye. Just breathe in from the real eye. Breathe into the sacrum and then breathe out through the top of your head, through your crown. And do that a few more times. when you find that you are comfortable doing that, then add your hands at the, the fourth and the fifth eye. So do the breathing in from these three eyes first. Breathe in right to the sacrum and breathe out through the crown. Do that a few more times until it becomes more automatic. Okay, so far so good. Okay, now at the soles of your feet, the arch, the right side and the left side of your foot. And breathe straight into the sacrum and out through crown. Okay. 
questions so far? How is it going with um, breathing in through these five points? Did anybody feel anything? Feel something swirling in the top of your head? I didn't get the instructions uh, correctly. Did, did we do both palms at the same time? Yeah, and then we did both feet at the same time. Okay. I think at the end, everything was breathing. And uh, for me, I know once you said that we have to feel cooler, but I feel like raise the temperature of my body. My body temperature raised up. Maybe because I was trying a lot. Maybe, yeah. When when you feel when you feel that, then just break off, just stop. Okay, and then a lot of uh, like especially beginning in the beginning, yeah, because you're trying to you know remember all of these because there's so many things. So um, in that case, then I actually um, I want to suggest that you just break it down. So as um, so if if it's easier for you to just focus on the real eye and let's say the right side, uh, your right hand and the right foot, then or just the right hand. So let's just start with, you know, adding a little bit and then until it becomes automatic, until you, you feel you don't even have to think about it so that you can, and, and your body can actually calm down. Because usually when I, when I feel the back of my neck, I would feel, oh, then you know that, okay, it's, um, you're not thinking too much. You're not overthinking it. And I do know that when we first, you know, it's too many things to, you say, oh, okay. I have to imagine, you know, breathing in from this hand, that hand, that that foot, and this foot, then yeah, it, it, it can be too too much thinking. So then just just break it down, just do it um, um, gradually. Just work with just adding one, just, just on the right side with to the real eye. Until it becomes automatic, you can feel yourself just um, not heating up and then add one more. And then do the same until, and then, and then just gradually add. Okay, thank okay. you. Yeah. Any anyone else? Yes, uh, the the last br breath is the all the seven eyes through all the seven eyes, yeah. And then you push it to the sacrum, yeah, and to the ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you. Yeah, you... I felt a bit of different energy from the ankle, from the feet. Yeah, it's, it was a different one. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know why, but maybe because we breathe energy from 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 the earth. Could be, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Okay. Vini, can I ask you? So we breathe from real eye down to sacral and then go back to crown, correct? Yeah. You breathe out. Yeah. yeah. And at the same time, you imagine like um, your fourth, fifth, all the eyes open. You don't have to imagine that. When you're breathing in, they will automatically open. Okay. Thank you. It's um, that's the beauty of the body. It it uh, it responds to you. You don't have to. You don't have to imagine that. Could you repeat the sequence? Because I, I got confused, especially when Adina asked that we're doing all at the same time. 
Okay, so it does not matter. It does not matter. Okay. The idea is you have these five points, real eye, you know, two of palm and then two on the, the soles of the feet as well. So these five points. The, the um, idea is to breathe, to bring in energy from these five points and collect them at the sacrum. And then breathe out to through the crown. So that is the idea. Now, whether you do two hands at a time or you do you know, your feet first or you just do one at a time, then it, it does not matter. Okay. So yeah. all of those other things is just so that it, to train your body so that, you know, at one, at some point when you, you do this enough, breathing in from all these five points becomes natural. You don't have to think about it. When that happens and you do, you continue to do the breathing, the crown will start to open. You will feel that there is something swirling at the top of your head. Okay. That's when you know that, you know, yeah, the crown chakra is just being activated and the lotus opens up. Right. Okay. Um, so gosh, I don't remember who said that it feels a heat, like I feel such an intense heat all over, like. Like I'm in a drag. Are you my sister? Yeah, okay. I think we are sisters. <laughs> yeah, when you when you first do it, yes. When you first do it, you would feel because you're thinking, oh, okay, I have to remember this, do this, imagine this, that. Yeah, too much thinking. So then you just be patient with yourself and just um, work with yourself. Meaning that you know, so. When I first do it, I actually work on my legs first because I find my hands are easy. It's easy to breathe from my hands. Whereas the legs, because you know, I've never done that. It's not something that I, I do, um, you know, that I even know of. So that's why I, like for me, I work with you know, breathing from my, from the soles of my feet first. To, and then until it becomes, um, now you don't have to think about it, it becomes automatic, then add the hands. And the, for me, that works. So you just have to pay, be patient with yourself and just um, add one at a time. So just start with the real eye, just do that. Breathe in to the sacrum, just bring the energy into the sacrum and then breathe out through the crown. Just get that to be automatic first okay and then once you get that to become automatic then you add the next one whichever one you want and then when that becomes automatic you add some more until all five locations okay that's that's how it is that there it, yeah, one more thing. Sifo told me that there are two points behind the knees. Are those connected to more they, eyes? They are, yes. Yeah. However, he did say that just, but just work with the five points. It's already enough. Okay. Because <laughs> five points is actually easier than seven points. Right, yeah, okay. Just do the five points, and when you are expert at the five points and you want to you know, add more, then do those other. Because besides those five points, there's actually some other points as well. Oh, I, boy. <laughs> so that's that's why I said, well, okay. So you just, you do that, just, just Start one. Start with five. Because... Yes, one at a time. You just add on to it until it becomes easy, automatic. You don't have to think about it. And then, you know, add more. It's, yeah, that's for me. I, I really think that that's easiest. Okay, so the more we do it, the more we get more soul power. Is that what it is? Yeah, yep. Because you're not just, like when you're just breathing in through the real eye, then that's just one source of energy. 
But when you get it up to five, it's like, like every time you do the breathe in, you are getting five times what you would otherwise get. So that's really powering up. So soul power is the crown chakra power. No? No, that's a zero point. It's a zero point that gets stronger. It's a zero point. However, physically, you would feel the crown opening as well. Because you, you know, your body is all is, is related. So right. that's like when you're breathing in and from these five points, the crown opens and the zero point is, is um, kind of amped up as well. When crown chakra open, how you can tell that it's open? It's supposed to be, you're supposed to feel rotation? It's whirling over there. You will feel something oh. whirling. Okay. Thank you. But at least that's how I, I know that it's open. When something is whirling there. Okay. I feel a lot of pulse, pulses. Pulse is good. That's a good sign. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> it's interesting when the first time you explained that orb and uh, colors, and you told us just imagine the color, and I I saw some color, and after that, I never see any color. You actually don't have to imagine the color. Like when when you close your eyes, you will see color. Okay. Like it's it's not possible to not see color. So, um, yeah. So if you don't see color, then yeah, don't, 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 don't worry about it. Just do the, the so just continue to refine and power up your soul. That's your point. Just do the breathing. And at some point you would see, you would start to see, um, like when you start to see red or green or even green, so you will start to see that. Thank you. So, but you, you, you close your eyes or it doesn't matter, open or close eyes. It's, I, okay. I find it easier to see color with eyes closed. Right. And then yeah. when you've done, and when you really, um, like now, even with my eyes open, I can see the, the, op, the color. So, but at first, it's just the, the when you close the eyes, then I see the orb easier. The more you practice, the easier it is. Even with your eyes open, you can see it. So this is the color of the orb you're seeing. Yeah. Okay. There are too many pieces. Thank you for asking for my you know, question. A lot of pieces, but you know, just one at a time. Just be patient with yourself. This is um, so. Just work with one. If if for now the only thing you can work with is just the real eye, then work with that. Uh -huh. And when it becomes automatic to just breathe into the sacrum and breathe out through the crown until you you know until you know you can do it even when you're on the subway or, or driving or doing something else you can still do it without thinking then you at the next point and just gradually add and each time you add one more point just notice notice what's different mm -hmm. wow <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Practice, practice, practice. <laughs> okay. Like now, even when I am not um like when I'm not practicing, uh um like I would I would still be able to see the orb. 
So after a while, it becomes more quite automatic. So ready for more? <laughs> I know it seems like a, a lot, but okay. Let me share the next one then, because there is more. Okay, so done all of this. So, so with the, the so how to get even more is that there are different points on your hand in addition to the PC8 in the middle, there are a few more points as well that is going to help that. So let me just, um, so this is where they are. And so let me show it to you. I just with, um, without using a diagram is to, okay. So, so look at the hand, okay. So the, the first finger, um, so it's at the, kind of the, the bottom of the nail, right? The bottom of the nail on the, the side that's that's um, looking outside. So this is inside. So this is inside. So this this side. If you just kind of use a nail or just pinch it, you would feel that it's a little it's a little bit tender. So that's one point. Okay, that's one point. That's one point. Um. Vinny, my computer uh, kicked me off. What, what is it? Okay, so thumb. Okay. At the at the the bottom of the nail of your thumb as a point. So if you just pinch, kind of this this um, use your. So I have a a bit of a nail here. I just I just stick it into the bottom of the nail, and you feel that. Yeah, it kind of, it's a tender point. So that is that point. So in addition to the PCA, you can actually breathe in through that point as well. This is on both hands? On both hands. So I'm just showing you on my mm -hmm. right hand, but you know, both hands is the same on this side. It's the same. Okay, so this, this is, First point, and the second point is the index finger, bottom of the nail. So it's that. You just use your nail to touch it as a tender point, and that is it. So this point here. One second. Uh, you're pressing on either side of the finger? Yeah, the side of the finger. Side of the finger, and it's right around the um the bottom of the nail of your index but only finger. Only one side of the finger, not both sides. Just one side. The outside oh. side. Maybe you should turn your hand the other way. Sure. No. No. It's, oh, okay. It's okay. Uh, okay. So so it's this. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That that what I'm saying. And okay. for the thumb. It's also the same. Out. Yeah, it's the same. So it's this. So only one finger you have to press at the bottom. What do you mean one? Yeah, yeah. But with the other yeah. hand, you yeah. just put it on that one point. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So okay. that's the thumb, that's the index, and the middle finger is on top. Oh. Uh -huh. Not sure for me. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And so, what they, what these fingers about? So those are extra points that you can breathe in. Uh -huh. Okay. Because the more points you breathe, bring energy in. It just multiplies the 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 number. So it's like now you have. It's connecting to some eyes. Uh, no, it's not connect connected to any eyes. So these are extra 
points that you can bring energy in. And for the fourth finger, the ring finger, it, it is um, facing this the other side. So it's this one here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And for the pinky, it is so both sides. The pinky has two. So at the bottom of the nail, both sides. Okay. And it's only on the right hand? Both hands. On both hands? I'm just showing mm -hmm. you the right. Oh. But okay. it's, it's the so, same uh, one. So a uh, ring finger on outside, right? On outside, yes. And pinky? Pinky both. is both sides. Okay. Middle okay. finger is in the middle. And the pointer and the thumb. Pointer inside and thumb also inside. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So that means that on one hand, there are actually um, what? <laughs> seven points that you can bring energy in. So it kind of increased the amount of energy that you can bring in through your hands. Mm -hmm. If it's confusing, then don't worry about it. Just do the those five points first. Mm -hmm. When those five points become automatic, and you're comfortable with them, and you want to add some more, then you can go to these extra points. Okay? Yeah. So in summary, five points, you practice one at the time, and then when you are comfortable, you do breathing through all five of them or yep. all three of them or however, wherever at yes. the stage you are. Okay. Correct. Yes. How did that make seven? It makes six on the fingers. Okay. Two. One. So, okay. One. Two, oh, I'm holding the middle. Four, okay. Five, okay. Six, seven. Okay, okay. I forgot about the middle. <laughs> yeah. Logan points. Right. Okay, so far so good. Good. Excellent. <clears throat> okay. So um any so the next one it would be just to do a big uh, a longer meditation to bring in all those all those things well not not these these not the finger ones but just the the regular five points okay so no other questions nothing else to clarify if not then let's do the meditation then 